right, looking at number five. Um, these are elimination questions, so we need to find two x's or y's that we can eliminate away. So looking at the two equations, um, I have a negative 4x and a positive 4x, so I can go ahead and eliminate those out by adding. And then I'm going to go ahead and add um, the tops of the y's and the numbers of the two equations. So positive 8 and a negative 2 are going to give me a positive 6y. And when I add the negative 12 and the negative 24, that's going to give me negative 36. So divide both sides by 6. I know my y is going to be negative 6. <clears throat> so I can go back up to the other, pick any of the other equations and plug as negative 6 and for y. Um, so if I do it to the first equation, I could say negative 4x minus 2, but instead of putting um, a y there, I'm going to substitute my negative 6, which I just solved for. And now I have negative 4x plus 12 equals negative 12. So in order to get the x by itself, I'm going to subtract the 12 over, leaving me with negative 24. Divide both sides by negative 4. And x is going to equal a positive 6. So my final answer is going to be my x and my y put together. So 6, negative 6 is going to be my solution for number five.